Hey guys, welcome back to this uh, Spring Boot tutorial to create a simple blog. What we want to do right now is to maybe find all the posts by created by a given user. So to do this, let's go on the blog controller and create a get mapping with a value of posts username. So we're going to specify the username right here and do something like we're going to do a public method, which is going to return a list of posts. Uh, and we're going to call this posts um, by user and with a path variable of the username. To do this, we're going to do something like the post service. We need the find by user because we need to a method to do this, and we're gonna need the user service to get the user given a username, a string. So all we need to do is to return this and to create this method find by user. This is gonna be really simple since we have an instance of our post repo. So post repo find by creator ID user get ID. Uh, we do not have this method so we're gonna create a getter right here. Go back here and create a method as well on here which is uh, you have to be real careful about the syntax so it's find by creator and uh, it, I wrote creator here because if we go in the user actually on the post we have this creator right here this creator field and so we have to name it exactly the same otherwise it's not gonna work go back on the um, post repo and we have an ID so the user we are searching by this long ID and as you can see it is expecting a parameter of type long and it returns a list of posts. Okay, this is working fine. Let's try it out. To try this out, the first thing I'm going to do is to create another user which uh, because we have to make sure that it's not retrieving all the posts every time. So um, let's do something like this. Let's create a couple of users and wire them like we have a user password and make user2 with uh, still password. So save it up uh, and relaunch the application. Open up Postman so that we can test it out. If we go and try to get all the posts and do a send request, we have an empty page. Let's log in with our user one. So send the request, we get the access token. And let's post with the access token that we have. Yeah, I think I copied out the same token. Uh, my bad. Let, let me request the token again. Um, where it is? Okay, send. Yeah, this is the access token. I think I pasted the wrong token, as you can see. So let's do a send request. We have a post was published. Let's now get the posts. And indeed, we have this username user okay now let's try a login with user 2 so go back to OAuth and write up user 2 send the request we have a new access token and let's make a post right here and maybe write this is a test post by someone else and send the post request if we check out the post right now we have two posts. This is a test post and this is a test post by someone else. Check out how the creator 
is a user here and user two here. So there are actually two different users. So let's write up user and test out if our created method works. If we do user, indeed, we just have the one post that is created by the user. If we do user two, we have the other post that is, this is the test post by someone else. So this is working as expected. Uh, I think that uh, this is it for this video. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good one.